It's been a while since I've done a lifted vans for sale video. I have a couple to share with you guys, some really inexpensive ones if you're in the market for a lifted van. But before I do that, I want to share my friend Chris's van again. Here it is on a two inch spacer lift. And check it out, he just installed an action van suspension lift kit. That looks awesome, man. Can't wait to hear your impressions on how this thing drives. The thing with Action Van and Welltech, they lift your van, they make it look cool, and a nice bonus is your van's actually going to ride even better than stock. So, looking forward to your impressions on how this thing drives, man. Was anyone recommended this video right here? So I was recommended this video. Very nice van. So, of course, I'm going to click on it when I see a lifted van video recommended to me especially if it's a channel i've never heard of before i'm gonna watch it so right away looking at the front i don't see the bent i-beam coming down so i said this is an action van lift so i click on this company's uh website and i left them a comment right here i hope one of my friends buys this van and takes it to one of my lifted van meets really nice van seventy-five thousand miles on this thing Sold right away for like $25,000. So who bought this van? Yeah, just really clean. Yeah, sold right away. I uh, clicked on their website, looked up this van. It was like twenty-five grand. A couple days later, it was gone. So check it out. Here's the cheapest lifted van for sale right now. Forty-nine fifty. So this is on an action van. So Action Van charges $3,500 installed for their lift kit. This entire van is $49.50. So who wants to take a look at this van? See if it's any good. And it's a big block 7.5, 7.5 liter. Just sounds awesome. So there it is. Cheapest lifted van on the market right now. I got another cheap one for you guys. Welltech, they charge 5200 installed for their lift kit. $7,500 right here for a Welltech lifted van. And then I got one more. 12000 dollars Here's the big one with this one. See, even if this bumper was there with the well tech i could always just see that the i-beams bending upwards you could see like this part yeah this is that's just looking at lifted vans too much so let's take a look at this one twelve thousand dollars fifty two hundred dollars to get a well tech lift kit installed so keep that in mind look at what else this guy has on this van arb air locker so when i picked my van up from well tech when i got it lifted I asked the sales lady about lockers, and at the time, this was a uh, 2021. She told me that they only do ARB air lockers, and they charge four grand for that. So, fifty-two hundred dollar lift kit and a four thousand dollar locker, about nine grand in work. So the entire van is twelve thousand dollars. So yeah, this guy did it right. Got it installed. Got a locker installed with this, along with the lift. So it's good to go. And then, just for fun, so my van is just under 150,000 miles. I bought it with 104,000 miles, so I've enjoyed my van a lot, and I'm going to drive a van forever. This isn't a fad for me, you know. Everyone could not be into lifted vans anymore, and I'm still going to be into lifted vans. It's cool to see this hobby really grow the last two, three years, but no matter what, I'm always going to drive a lifted van, so I figure... I would like five more years out of my van, five really good years out of my van, since um, it's going to be like, when did I get that van in 2020? So I'm in year four right now, six. I want 10 years. That was my goal, get 10 years out of my van. But maybe someday, you know, something like this would be really nice. A little RV. It's not dual rear wheels. And it looks like it's just about as long as my van. I don't want to drive something gigantic. So this is like the perfect size RV. Yeah, this, I would love to have this thing someday. Like right now, I'm okay with my van 
you know, even though it looks big, it's kind of small compared to something like this. This is just like a house on wheels. Very nice. Maybe someday, you know, when my channel hits 100,000 subscribers. Maybe I'll be at 100,000 subscribers in the next five or six years. But yeah, something like this would be a dream of mine. And then, um, yeah, 35-inch tires, 456 gears, so it was done correctly. So if you want 35-inch tires, you need 456 gears. And let's go ahead and share some 35-inch tires. So check it out. Camberg lift kit for sale. So this comes with the Camberg lift kit, not the van. He just wants to sell his Camberg and uh, the rims and the tires. So 35 inch tires on this Camberg lifted van. And Camberg isn't cheap. So Camberg no longer sells their bent beam kits. They got a Weltec style bent beam kit. And I recorded this before their bent beam kit got discontinued and this price right here 4960 to 5575 that was the cost of the kit installed you know along with the kit so yeah camberg isn't cheap but yeah there you go here's a here's a guy running 35s on a camberg lift and camberg same lift as a well tech in action van about five inches so there you go guys so chris man I look forward to hearing your impressions on how your drive vans now. Everyone tells me the same thing. My van rides nice now. So, And then I wonder who bought this one. This is a nice one. Sold right away for like twenty five grand, 75,000 miles. And an action van for sale right here. We got a Welltech right here. And another Welltech with the ARB air locker and someday someday maybe when my channel hits a hundred thousand subscribers i'll get something like this all right everyone who's lifting their van this year who's next i'll catch you guys later